Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got irregular pentagon inside this given semicircle, as you can see in this figure, such that its vertices A, E, D, C, and B are on this circle and moreover this angle A is 65 degrees, angle B is 71 degrees, angle C is 140 degrees and now we are going to calculate this angle X and furthermore this AB is the diameter of this circle with the center O so before we proceed any further let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's go ahead and connect points c d and e with the center o that means i'm going to connect this o with this point c likewise with this point d and likewise these points O and E and here's our much nicer looking diagram and now we can see that this line segment OB this line segment OC line segments OD line segment OE and line segment AO are the radii of this semicircle so therefore OB is equal to OC equal to OD equals to OE equals to OA. Now let's focus on this triangle BOC and we can see that this triangle is an isosceles triangle since this OB equal to OC since both are the radii of this circle. And here's the definition of an isosceles triangle, a triangle which has two equal sides or two equal angles. So therefore, this angle has got to be equal to this angle. This is going to be 71 degree as well. Now we know that this whole angle is 140 degrees. So therefore if we subtract 140 degrees minus 71 degrees so this side of this angle is going to be 69 degrees and now let's focus on this another triangle COD and we can see that this triangle is an isosceles triangle as well since OC equals to OD so therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle as well since this is a 69 degrees so this angle has got to be 69 degrees as well now we know that in this triangle the sum of all these angles angle this angle this angle and this angle is going to be 180 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 42 degrees because if we add all these three angles 69 degrees plus 69 degrees plus 42 degrees if we add them up it is going to give us 180 degrees let's focus on this triangle BOC once again we know that sum of all these three angles in this uh, triangle must be equal to 180 degrees therefore this angle has got to be 38 degrees because if we add all these three angles 71 degrees plus 71 degrees plus 38 degrees that is going to give us indeed 180 degrees and now let's focus on this triangle AOE and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since OA equal to OE therefore this angle has got to be equal to 
this angle if this angle is 65 degree this angle has got to be 65 degrees as well moreover we know that the sum of all these angles in this triangle AOE must be equal to 180 degrees that means this angle plus this angle plus this angle must be 180 degrees therefore we conclude that this angle has got to be 50 degrees because if we add 65 degrees plus 65 degrees plus 50 degrees that indeed adds up to 180 degrees and now let's focus on this triangle DOE and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this uh, OD equals to OE so therefore this angle is going to be equal to this angle let me go ahead and call this angle alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well and moreover let me go ahead and call this third angle as angle beta now let's focus on this whole angle this whole angle is 180 degrees so that means the sum of all these individual angles let me go ahead and add them up 50 degrees plus beta plus 42 degrees plus 38 degrees equal to 180 degrees let's go ahead and solve for beta 130 degrees plus beta equals to 180 degrees and if we add negative 130 degree on both sides this cancels out so beta turns out to be simply 50 degrees so therefore this angle turns out to be 50 degrees and now let's focus once again on this triangle DOE the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees that means this angle alpha plus this angle alpha plus 50 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees and now if we solve for alpha our alpha value turns out to be 65 degrees so therefore this angle turns out to be 65 degrees and this angle turns out to be 65 degrees as well and here's our final step we are looking for this angle x and that turns out to be 65 degrees plus 69 degrees so therefore i can write this angle x equal to 65 degrees plus 69 degrees so x turns out to be simply 134 degrees so thus our angle turns out to be 134 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye